Welcome. This is Vanessa Williams, and I want to bring you on a journey of a daily meditation, a time to relax, become one with yourself, quiet all the outside noise that lives in your head and in your daily life. Let Maria Papa Petras guide you into an experience that is none like any other. Feel your true self as you walk with Maria in her journey to take you to another place, a place that you need to visit whenever you need to feel whole. I've used this meditation daily whenever I need to check back in with myself and become one. Feel grounded. Feel whole. Feel revitalized. Tap back in to what your true essence is. Follow us on this journey. And I'd like you to sit down comfortably and experience a long moment of quietness. And at that, I'd like you to flex your toes for three seconds and release. And then I'd like you to flex your hands, then open and release. And I'd like you to flex momentarily your entire being. And by now, relaxation has begun seeping in to every single cell in your body. Relax. Get in tune with every single sound that you hear around you. And allow all the sounds to blend into one tune, your own tune, that is the tune that we'll use as your guide in your life. As long as you know that you're always dancing into your own tune. Your own personal tune will take you to the way to freedom. I'd like you to remember that you're all there is, a total and complete universe with your own unit. Now, as the tune and the relaxation have become a lullaby, I'd like you to pay attention to every single part of your being from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And you own all of it. That is your strength. Allow every single part in the body to get acquainted with the next. Feel whole and total. And now, I'd like you to focus on the word freedom. Freedom, freedom. You are free. Freedom. 
you're in your heart. You are the center of the universe. And now, I'd like you to visualize a color taken out of a rainbow that is your color of today. I'd like your color to create a cushion beneath you and let the cushion take you into your own sanctuary to where your guides and angels are waiting for you they're waiting to answer all your questions and remember you're very special indeed and your topic of today is what is going on in the world and what it is you can do as an individual to aid and assist the planet. You may bring up the events that have been going on in the world, not to our liking, I'd like you to state your fears, your concerns, viruses, violence, What's going on? wars, and what you feel about them. How do you feel? What's going on? Do you feel or are you just reacting to the mass mind that lives in fear at the moment? Fear paralyzes. What can you do for yourselves, for your world, in the here and the now? As you're part of the world, you are the world. You have a microcosm in your own home, your own backyard. Things could happen. What do you do? How do you arm yourselves? against the mass mind more than just the elements that are negative. Fearlessness. That is your tool. Fearlessness. And fearlessness comes with awareness. Let's not close our eyes and look at the so-called enemy in the eyes. Listen to your guides as they're saying. Spend time in meditation. Listen to the universe and God speaking to you. This concerns you. And it does not have to be your reality. It does not have to materialize in your own lives. Fear invites to you what it is that you fear the most. 
What is it going to be? Here, you guys, know that your fears are projected to your children. And they do invite. Look at the nervousness. What it suggested here, that in meditation, one should be asking, what is this telling me? What is the lesson here for me? At this point of my journey, why have I come up on that knot? What do I do to untie the knot? And live in the here and the now safely. I'm not suggesting denial. On the contrary, get involved, see what it is, and then pray, meditate daily. Ask every morning, what can I do today that will help me, my family, and the world? And let's please remember that this too shall pass. Everything passes. Maybe it is time for us to contemplate on what it is that is important. What building blocks are we using to create a reality with? What have we done unknowingly with our own negativity, adding to the anger of the universe? Have we been abusing the planet? Have we been asking the tree if it wants to be cut? Have we been asking that flower if it wants to be in our vase? And please do remember that there's an endless source of supply of all there is in the universe. And that source is available to you at all times. I'd like you to think of every part of your life right now. What are we harboring? Is it resentment? Who are we not forgiving? Are we holding on? To what it's not constructive. So right now, I'd like you to mentally take a pen and paper and write your affirmations. And most of all, write down what is this virus telling me? What is the violence around the world telling me? Deal with the terrorists in your own minds, in your own home, in your own home. The belligerent child who wants to control, the spouse, Ask them what it is that they want. Maybe they want love and attention. Unconditional 
love and attention. Take this with you. Before we come back into our bodies, what can I do to help, aid, assist the planet today? What can I do to build up the element of freedom? Freedom of fear is our protection. And now I'd like you to please give thanks to your guides for the love and the guidance. And please know they are with you as you think of them. Take a color of the rainbow and color them with that and let that rainbow color be your key into your sanctuary, a place that exists within you. And now feeling strong and full of purpose toward freedom of fear and wellness and balance and healing of this planet and our hearts. I'd like you to begin coming forward, giving thanks to God and the universe for what it is that you've experienced, for this moment, for the miracle of you and freedom.